Kings, this is Master Carry One. And Garon. And we're here at Barnes Pictures Central HQ, and we're gonna teach you how to build an electric match, fuse, detonator, whatever, using nothing more than simple ingredients that you can find in your local supermarket and hardware store. This type of fuse is very similar to what we will be using to detonate our dual exhaust rocket scooter. Rocket board's gonna be fueled on our most powerful and explosive concoction, Nitro, Nitro Blaster, Blaster Scene. <laughs> That's right. And we're gonna teach you the cheapest and simplest way to build one of these electric detonators. So, what we've got here is a bit of bell wire, which we bought from a hardware store. It was just the cheapest one I could find. And the main advantage is that it's got this double split so you can cut the wire into two individual strands. Nextly, we're going to use some steelo wool, which you can get at your local supermarket. No rust. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube telling me that I need to use copper and all this fancy crap, but it's not necessary. This can do the trick. You'll need some matches, or more precisely, one match. A good tape. This is PVC tape, or you can use a duct tape some trimming pliers to cut the wire, a 9 volt battery that you can rely on. And the following items are not absolutely necessary but they'll make your job a hell of a lot easier. I've got a wire stripper. If you don't have one of these you can always use your trimmer but it's a lot more effort and easy to stuff up. I've also got a set of pliers which is extremely useful in handling the wire and steel or wool. I've also got some alligator clips here, which are not necessary, but you can add them to the end of your wire if you want to be a bit fancy, and a screwdriver for the alligator clips. Okay, let's get started. Alright, first of all, cut yourself a strand of wire, depending on how long you want your fuse to be, and that is dictated by how much of a pussy you are. <laughs> Take your pliers and make an incision in between the two strands of wire, like that. What this will do is separate the two independent um, strands of wire that make up the bell wire. Now you can just simply pull the two apart, like this. Pull them apart so that you have about, I'd say, three centimeters on either side and you should do the same thing to the opposite end of the wire. Now, get your trimmer and trim back one, of, one side of the wires by about a centimeter, like that. So you should have this sort of shape going on. The reason for this you'll see in a minute. Now with your wire strippers, strip away about a centimeter of insulation on either side and repeat for the other side. Your wire should look like this. Now grab yourself a bit of tape and a match and tape the match to the wire and secure it. By the way, the top of the match head should be in line with the lower of the two wires. It cannot pass the insulation of the longer one. Now with a pair of pliers, twist back the wire in an L shape, like that. As you can see, the match head is well below where the insulation finishes for the higher of the two wires. If it is above, then there's a fatal flaw in your fuse. After your match head has been secured, grab your steel wool and pick out a single fiber or hair of wool. As you can see it's extremely fine and easy to break so treat it with respect. Now grab your steel wool and very gently loop it around the lower of the two wires Give it about five loops to secure it fully. And now, 
continue to wrap around the insulation and the match head. Make sure it comes into multiple contact with the match head to ensure detonation. And continue to wrap it around until eventually it wraps around the top wire. Like that. Now, bend the remaining wire around with your pliers, being very careful not to let this metal touch below the match head. If that happens, the electric current will flow through the metal wire instead of flowing onto the match head, and your fuse will not ignite. This next step is not absolutely necessary, but if you want to go that extra mile, you can get some alligator clips and install them to the ends that attach to the batteries. And this is what you do. I've taken the screw out of my alligator clip, put the wire through the alligator clip until it comes out at the top. The wire is now sticking out of the alligator clip, so we're going to form a loop. A loop. Yeah, I'll loop that. We're going to form a loop like this, which goes around a screw which goes at the top of the alligator clip. Twist it around. And I have to screw it in to ensure the contact. If you want to go that extra mile again, so you'll have gone two extra miles, <laughs> you can get some solder and make sure that the, the uh, link is definitive and repeat for the second terminal and now you have your very simple yet effective detonator which can be used to ignite rockets and it's extremely compatible with our very own nitro blastocene rocket fuel which you can also check how to make on one of our videos now I'm going to show you how to detonate this thing this is a similar idea to what we'll be using on our rocket-powered skateboard of death. What you do... Be prepared. Is you... Yes, be prepared. We're going to have two exhausts and two dual engines which will be simultaneously ignited. Now what you do is you attach the first clip to the terminal and have it like that. Now it's armed. Now when you're ready to fire, you simply just close the circuit. Like that. And there you Whoa. go. In case you didn't notice, there's a slight delay, which can be extremely useful if you use it to your advantage. If you don't have a pair of alligator clips, you can still detonate this very well by making the two wires come into contact with both terminals of the battery. We hope to release our rocket-powered scooter before the new year, so stay tuned and follow us on Twitter for the latest updates. Thanks for watching, and check out our other videos at Barnes Pictures Central HQ. Q. Now, all you have to do is insert this up the rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I want to redo that. We get enough bullshit comments. <laughs> <laughs> We're the masters, we're the masters, we're the masters, we're the masters!